Now let's talk about TFTP slash FTP. FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol and TFTP stands for Trivial File Transfer Protocol. Now the keyword trivial means that it's a lightweight version of the FTP protocol. Both are application layer protocols. They live on layer seven of the OSI model and they operate on the principle of client server model. FTP is a reliable protocol. It uses TCP ports 20 and 21, whereas TFTP is an unreliable protocol and uses UDP port 69. The whole purpose in life of both protocols is to allow a client to connect to a server for file transfer purposes. So either you're uploading something to an FTP or TFTP server or you're downloading something from the FTP or TFTP server, that's the entire purpose of these two protocols. Now, why have multiple transfer protocols? And that's a good question. Why can't we just have a single file transfer protocol? Well, TFTP is an unsecure type of transfer protocol. It does no authentication. It does not do any encryption, but it's fast and it's very efficient. And if you think of it, the best example I can give you is when an IP phone that's connected to the network comes online for the very first time, or when it reboots, when it comes back online, it has to go and download its configuration. By default, IP phone does not have a, a file locally saved on it. It has to go and download its file. So it can go and communicate with the TFTP server, download its file, so the phone has the intelligence to be able to connect to the call manager and all that. And as you can imagine, if there was security involved, it would be a big hassle, right? Somebody would have to type in the credentials on the phone. That's not cool because that just creates more hassle. So TFTP comes to rescue there. FTP, on the other hand, is more secure than TFTP, but it only provides authentication though, which means, you know, username and password, but it does not provide confidentiality or encryption. So for that purpose, SFTP or secure FTP was designed and it uses both authentication and encryption, but instead of using port 20 and 21, it uses SSH port, TCP port 22. Because what it does is it, it encrypts and encapsulates FTP traffic inside of SSH or secure shell over port 22. Now, a couple of use cases of TFTP, as I alluded to, you have an IP phone, it boots up and grabs its config from the TFTP server. In this case, TF the IP phone is a TFTP client. Now, another scenario could be we have Bob uh, who's running a TFTP server on his laptop and there's R1 that wants to download a copy of iOS image that Bob is serving on his TFTP server. In this instance, Bob's laptop is a TFTP server and R1 acts as a TFTP client. Now the use cases for FTP and secure FTP are, you may have a router that's connected to an FTP server and that router downloads a copy of iOS image that's centrally stored on that FTP server. Now, a lot of users in real world actually have a centralized repository of all the iOS images where they keep what are called golden images. Golden images are the ones that are approved by that company and they're certified to work within customer's environment. You've tested them in the lab, all the different functions and features you're using in your environment those images work flawlessly in your environment. So what you do is all the different variations of your routers and switches in your environment, you go ahead and grab those golden images and save them in a centralized repository on that FTP server, and those devices can then download those images. In that case, R1 would be an FTP client. Now, secure FTP, that's another case where R1 that is an SFTP client uploads a copy of its configuration securely 
to the FTP server or SFTP server. And that wraps up this video. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.